Oh, your eyewitness weather forecast. Good Sunday morning, everyone. I hope you had a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in with us. Some fun stuff to talk about this morning. Today marks the first day of meteorological spring. And the only difference here is so what we all know as the seasons actually is based off where we are in the orbit around the sun. Meteorological seasons are actually determined by our average temperatures. So the coldest months, the three coldest months, December, January, February, that ends up being winter. And our three warmest months end up being summer. So today, through the end of March, will be meteorological spring. So there's a little fun fact <laughs> you could tell your friends. Radar and satellite right now, we do have some snow showers moving across in the northern tier. Actually, it's starting to strengthen just a little bit, not too big of a concern, but the finger lakes there are actually helping them get a little bit more intense as they cross over the Pennsylvania border. Temperatures right now, we are in the 20s across the region. Some areas still even in the teens, as well uh, in Mount Pocono and in Hazleton, they are still hanging out in the teens. When you factor in the winds, it's feeling a little bit colder outside, so you may want to grab a good winter coat as you're headed out, feeling more like the low teens and single digits this Sunday morning. A little bit more fun facts for you. February, how did we end up panning out? Well, what happened was we should be, our high and low temperatures should be at uh, 21 for our low and 37 as our high, but we had plenty of above average days. So when all was said and done, we actually ended up averaging out at uh, 43 and 28 as your high. Our highest temperature from this past month was 59 degrees, and when records started in 1901 for February, our highest temperature was 76 degrees, which happened in both uh, 2017 and 2018. So if you want a little bit of a warm up, it's coming. These winds that are coming out of the south associated with this next system will bring us some more mild air, but not only that, it will actually bring us some more moist air, which will promote for some rain showers for your Monday afternoon. This is at 3.30 p.m. Most of the state will be covered in some light to moderate rain showers, drying off overnight. Tuesday, practically a repeat of Monday. Temperatures are looking the same. Conditions are looking the same. Uh, late afternoon, early evening, some more rain showers. We should dry off again overnight, but by Wednesday afternoon and into the evening, we may have some lake-enhanced snow showers for your Wednesday. Here's your eyewitness weather forecast. 40 degrees is the high today, mostly sunny, not nearly as cold. Those winds have died off quite a bit tonight. 30 degrees as your low. Those winds shift to the south, so we will start to see a warm up here soon. Mostly cloudy, once again, not as cold as last night. That sunset just before 6 o'clock. It keeps getting later and later. If you love uh, the getting more sunlight, that's what spring is all about, right? So we have a little bit of a wet pattern Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Grab the umbrella. Temperatures, though, as I mentioned, they're going to be mild. We'll be in the 50s, remaining in the 50s through the middle of the week. Thursday, we should be dry. High temperature now back into the 40s. Friday, we may have some more scattered snow showers. Temperatures still in the 40s, but by Saturday, we dry out and we'll have some more sun. But fortunately, those temperatures drop back into the upper 30s. You can always download the Eyewitness Weather app to your smartphones and tablets, or you can get all the latest forecasts and more at PA homepage. Dot com. 